בתחילת החודש התקיים אירוע שבמציאות אחרת, מתוקנת יותר, היה יכול לפתוח את כותרות החדשות. יהודים מדרום אפריקה התנצלו בפני פלסטינים על תרומתם למחיקת כפרם. וזה הסיפור. הקרן הקיימת לישראל גייסה לאורך השנים תרומות מיהודים ברחבי העולם כדי לממן נטיעת עצים ויערות לא פעם על חורבותיהם של כפרים פלסטינים. אחד היערות הללו הוא יער לוי הסמוך לצומת גולני שהוקם על חורבות הכפר הפלסטיני לוביה. בתחילת החודש הגיעה לישראל משלחת המייצגת 200 יהודים מדרום אפריקה להתנצל בפני עקורי לוביה על חלקם בהקמת היער. We erected this sign of the mosque. Uh, probably the mosque of the village was located here till 1948 and was destroyed. Lubia was the last village to resist the occupation at that time. But in the end of the day, the Lubians as their, as their Palestinian brothers had been forced to leave this place. Since the Nakba started 1948, the Palestinians had been displaced outside of, the, of their homeland to the diaspora and they are still living and suffering in the refugee camps. They are living far away from their homeland and far away from their relatives and families. This event is a result of a long-term uh, process it started five years ago. It was a meeting between displaced Libyans with a group from South Africa visiting the village after they found out that this forest called South Africa Forest and they produced a film called The Village Under the Forest. Members of the group Stop the JNF South Africa realized that they were partners in planting this forest in the, on the site of the village. This village of Libya was a place of life Dwellings of families, planted trees, water wells, and houses of prayer. We, your children from the South African diaspora, came to this place, this village of Libya, to confess a sin which was done inadvertently by us. This is the forest that we planted, whether we like it or not, whether we knew it or not. The money that we donated to the JNF bought the seeds that grew into these trees that cover your houses, your wells, and your sacred places. What we thought to be an offering of goodwill was turned into theft and raid, assisting in the destruction of this village. This inequity was done by us in our names. We are handing over pledges signed by scores of other Jewish South Africans, at least 200 other Jewish South Africans who, like us, wish to commemorate, acknowledge, and make symbolic reparation to the people of Libya and their descendants. As a Jewish South African, I wish to declare that whether as a child or as an adult, I have made a donation to the Jewish National Fund. Such a contribution was made prior to my understanding the true and hidden role that the JNF has played in Israel-Palestine. I am ready to receive the attention from everyone who thinks of himself that he was a victim and he has an impact on what happened and what he can do or do a solution that will give me my rights on my own land that I left my children before 67 years.